Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Quick update on the weather coming in today because we do have rain, beneficial rain. This is not a bad thing, but I know a lot of folks have plans today, so they want to know the timing of the rain. So first, let me just show you quickly the severe weather outlook today. Kind of as anticipated, pretty low risk overall, little narrow band of low risk. That's because we could see one or two storms, maybe have some gusty winds, but all in all, not looking at a huge risk. And even tomorrow, that risk is pretty low for our area. So the severe weather risk is what we like to call a not zero, a non-zero threat, but it's still there potentially. So let's take a look at the future cast as we go into the afternoon hours. Um, this is starting at 9 a.m. I'm going to stop this right around noon. Um, notice maybe a stray shower, but I'm not buying it. I'm not seeing anything currently, <coughs> excuse me, on the radar that would indicate we're going to see uh, a shower pop up. But you see the heavier rain trying to move into the mountains this afternoon. And really for the mountains, I think this is going to happen probably early afternoon. Um, this is around 1 45, 2 o'clock storms trying to move into the mountains. So in the mountains, look for early to mid afternoon for the Piedmont, you're going to stay dry. It looks like up into about six o'clock. So five, six o'clock. I've been saying after four or five, I think that still holds true, but it might be shifting a little bit later. Honestly, this is around 624. We'll go into the evening hours, 730 ish. So you're getting an idea. The rain's really going to pick up the later we get into the evening, the higher the chance of rain. And once it moves in, whoops, backed it up too far there. Once it gets in here, I'll stop it right about here. It starts to get pretty heavy here tonight. This is eight, nine o'clock. Some of those are heavy downpours. Um, this is 10 o'clock, 11, midnight. Look at midnight. That is some really heavy rain, especially here across the Midlands, the Piedmont, and even the mountains could have a little band of storms there. And again, there will be some embedded thunder here. So it's very efficient rainfall rates. One o'clock in the morning too. So a lot of this is going to fall tonight while we're sleeping. Really heavy rain. Monday doesn't look great either. We're going to wake up to a secondary surge. Did you see that second surge? Look down here in, Al uh, in Alabama and Georgia. This surge is coming up along the front. This is a wave of low pressure, which is going to push up to the northeast. And this is going to spread another wave of heavy rain Monday morning. So Monday is looking pretty wet. Today is not the washout. Most of today is fine until we get to the evening. But Monday might be a different story. Even at 9 o'clock, you see like it's trying to wane a little bit. But there might be redevelopment in the afternoon. There might be a third surge of moisture. Look at the time up here, 2 o'clock. Another wave on this front possibly pushes through. And look at that little cluster of showers and storms that develops. And then the main cold front tomorrow evening. So this is a change. It looked like most of this would be through by this time. But I think this is the actual cold front pushing off to the east here. And that's going to slide off to the east through Monday night. So Monday to me is a really wet day. I would not have any outdoor plans Monday right now, um, or at least have a backup plan for sure, because I think we're going to see several waves of heavy rain. By the time we get to Tuesday, everything is out of here. So how much rain are we talking about? Blending all of the guidance, you see a general one to two inch rainfall amount. A few spots down here could see heavier rain. That's why there is a little bit of a flash flood risk, and then a few pockets in here over two inches. But all in all, this is going to be a good soaker. We need it. It's great. It's going to help with the drought, help with the fires, help with the pollen. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. And the good thing, it's going to come over a longer period of time, not all at once. So between tonight and Monday, and it'll come in waves, which should give time for water to soak in and move around. And it's also not going to be severe with a lot of it happening at night, which would be great. So good news, rain on the way. If you have outdoor plans today, you're good to go until about four or five tomorrow. Not such, not such a great plant day. I would definitely have a backup plan for any outdoor activities on Monday.